Welcome to the Grow Your Law Firm podcast, brought to you by Pilma. This podcast helps lead lawyers to more growth, profit, and freedom. Here is your legal marketing expert and host, Ken Hardison. Hello, everyone. This is Ken Hardison, and welcome to another episode of Grow Your Law Firm. And today we have the honor of having Adam Armbrut. Excuse me, Adam. Uh, who is a dear friend of mine I met many, many moons ago back when I was practicing law, and I've kept in touch with him for one reason is that he's very, very smart. He's got a hell of a bunch of knowledge about marketing, what's working, what's not working, and not just for lawyers, but for the world. What I've found over the years is lawyers are slow to adapt, and so he sees what's happening before it happens. I like to stay in touch with him because always got insights. So, so thank you, Adam, for being here today. Ken, it's always good to talk to you and congrats on what you built with Pilma. I've watched that happen as well. So I'm always been amazed. Thank you, my friend. So, so tell us your story. Like, what do you do? Where, where do you work? I mean, what, your company and what do y'all do? And then tell me, you know, then we'll get into more questions about what's, what's, what's the big deal now. Uh, and I want to talk to you about what you were talking about. So, We'll get into that. Let's tell me your story. I mean, how'd you get into the biz you're in and what is your biz? Oh, fantastic. Again, you know, Ken, it's good to be with you. Uh, my job in life is to help firm owners do better. And my firm is a small little firm at, headquartered out of New Jersey, six people in it. But we help place about $100 million worth of media. With, we're not an ad agency. We don't, we're not for hire. We help these clients in placing plans to get really good yield. And we try to stay real time with what's going on in marketing and versus what used to work. And we try to keep people on the front edge of that. And it is constantly changing. It's changing faster than it ever has. Here comes chat GPT. Here comes all these other tools, non-tracking, no cookies. I mean, so it's gotten pretty real out there the last couple of years, but our firm is to, our charge is to sit with a law firm owner in your case, right? and get good inquiries from clients, higher conversion, less time wasting, running around town, you know, focused on conversion and profitability of the client, and then eventually earn the referrals, which as you know, are, pre- are pure profit. So helping these firms make more money by being smart with marketing. Absolutely. So, so tell me, what do you see, I mean, you just mentioned chat GPT and we were talking before, you know, the cookies and everything. What, what's the, what's the big deal going on right now? Uh, I know you, you work with different companies, not just law firms, but other, because I remember when I met you, you were doing a lot. You were actually helping a TV station, if I remember correctly, uh, helping them. Uh, and, and uh, I always felt like car dealerships, we're always like they're, they're the big spenders and they're the ones always trying to figure out something new. I don't know. Is, am I right on that or wrong? No, you're right. We're in 50 verticals, 50 different industries. We serve uh, the big five. One of them is legal. So we spend a good amount of time with law firms. We're right. kind of work with some of the best. I consider I'm not trying to flatter you. I consider you one of the best. When I met you, you were kind of ruling over Raleigh market. Yeah. And, uh, had no idea the vision you had for this Monster, this monster you're running now with Pilma, but the the key is that the at the end of the day, man, what are we doing? We're just trying to get a client to choose us over everybody else in the market. Pretty simple goal, not an easy task, but pretty simple goal. And then remove the complexity and the delay of them choosing you. So they could choose Hardison Associates in Raleigh, or they could have chosen 15 other people for the same service on the same day in the same market. So how do you win that over from messaging, from timing, from scale, repetition, efficiency, and what's the toolbox you're using? So when you get that figured out and dialed in, you start to see not just more leads, but higher conversion. A lot of law firms are converting what 10% of traffic coming in. I don't know what the new benchmark is, but we would always look at how do we get 20? How do we get 30? How do we get 40% conversion? Is I never met a law firm that like says I need more phone calls, but they need more clients. Right. So focusing on conversion to client versus phone calls, that was the first epiphany years ago. 
And then we were talking a little earlier, Ken, about the down funnel marketing and how that's been changed dramatically in the last couple of years with Apple not sharing their data with Google. They're in a little cat fight. And now Google's being charged to do the same thing with cookies. And I really think that law firm owners these days, you're kind of on your own. You got to take responsibility to tell your story across your market. You can't wait for the funnels and call the funnels Google or call them lawyer.com or findlaw.com or whatever funnel it is, right? You're right. not buying them to do the heavy lifting anymore. Yeah. They've gone into self-survival mode. Facebook's in survival mode. You'll be you'll be seeing more on them soon. Google's in survival mode. I think Apple's going to decide to get back into search in a huge way. Search, Ken, search marketing is a hundred billion dollar industry. Right now, Apple's getting eight billion from Google to stay out of it, to sit on the bench. Really? So yeah, could you see Apple maybe wanting fifty billion instead of eight billion? I could see that. So <laughs> there's there's game there's games afoot that I don't know if a lot of law firm owners even know what's going on upstairs above our head with this stuff. But the good news is they still are in the market. They're still a real law firm, not a service of a firm, and they can help a client. And the clients are down the street, man. I've always believed that. The, ne the next client's down the street. They're not sitting in a bubble somewhere. They can choose you, but are we talking to them? Are we talking to him or her answering the problem? Motivating the, to get a hold of us directly, not go down these rabbit holes. That's the task I'm at right now. Yeah. So, so I've seen a lot of our lawyers are, are getting into social media with TikTok and, and Instagram and, of course, Facebook to some degree. Um, and doing YouTube videos, YouTube shorts. Uh, people are experimenting with this uh, over-the-top TV, you know, the streaming uh, and and, and some are having a little bit of success, but they can't. They're not seeing a direct response from it. I don't know. I mean, I don't know. If they're not doing it right. You know, I think that what I've been told uh, is that you can't go on stuff like Hulu. These big where people paying a lot of money. You need to go where your clients go, which is these free ones like uh, Roku and orange and i don't know these 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 free ones that they they put ads in there but it's free George they're going to hire a lawyer a pi lawyer the rich people are going to get a call their lawyer and get a referral yeah i mean you're there's always a new toy, right, in the toy box. Uh, so the new one is TikTok, right? And then there was Instagram and there was Facebook before that and, you know, MySpace before that. And there'll be somebody after TikTok if the Fed shut that down. You better believe there's an American TikTok in the side sidelines waiting to come on the field. I'm right. sure someone's cooking that up right now. You can get to people, but remember, when I believe this, I believe with law firm leads, if it's an urgent you know, serious accident. I believe it's about a 72 hour process, Ken, to when somebody says, hey, honey, I think we should get it. I think we got a case here. We should get an attorney. I believe in 72 hours, they've hired somebody. I don't think it's 72 days. And then I think if it's maybe a soft tissue or, or very just not sure if you have a case, I think it might be 96 hours. So we're talking three, four days from I don't have an attorney to I've signed the papers. Right. That's happening every week across America and every city. Whoever's listening to this, it's happening in your market right now. Who gets to the most amount of qualified clients the fastest and the most cost efficiently is going to win that market share. And that's why, you know, some of your big colleagues can, these big TV powerhouses. I mean, you go to Atlanta, I mean, Nugent, bang. You go to Orlando, Morgan, bang. It's like Morgan boom, boom, two or three other names and like everybody else. Yeah. So you're controlling the markets with video, high scale video. Uh, I, I use broadcast. I use streaming video. Yes, very much. But remember, you got to get beef on the bone. There's got to be scale there because they're moving within 72 hours from don't have an attorney to hire an attorney and they're gone. They're out of the market. And it could be a year or two until they you know, the case is settled or whatever happened, right? So you get this little window of time to win. 
whoever wins that typically wins the best leads in the market, the best yield, best profitability. And that's why you see these guys hit it so hard. But you can compete. I mean, I have a lot of attorneys say to me, yeah, but how, I'm in Orlando. How to compete with Morgan? Well, Morgan's system's different than yours. He's a giant alpha system. You know, tens of thousands of phone calls a day. You know, it's a different business operating model than you with your three good attorneys sitting in the suburbs taking live calls to a real attorney hotlines. That's a whole different, you know, experience. So yeah. you can compete with anybody in any market and do well. Yeah, I think, you know, like I know TV works, but some people will not hire a TV lawyer because they must be a crook if they're on TV. Not everybody, but there's probably 28% of them who are just not going to because they see them. Some people that will. You know, I don't think you can, can't be everything to everybody, right? I mean, just can't. I mean, you know, you got to figure out what your deal is, what what separates you, what what uh, thing which you you know set you apart. We call it the USP. What differentiates you from all these other guys and gals? Hammer it down, and hopefully, you got a good one. It'll resonate with people, like you say that first. You know, I remember back when I was practicing and back when I met you, you know, I, I changed one thing and, and increased my, my, my uh, call, I mean, and call 22%, same budget, but I did this 30 day client satisfaction guarantee and it resonated with me because people are worried that they're going to make their own choice and they got to sign a contract. But if I give them a 30 day, you know, out clause, uh, bust out clause, whatever you want to call it, call it risk reversal, that will make them choose you because what have they got to lose? If they don't work out, they'll just fire you and go get the help that they were thinking about. Mm -hmm. People, they don't know who to hire sometimes. Unless they're told who to hire, they're just doing it based on an ad. Then they're, they're they're taking some kind of risk because you want to sign a contract, you know, retainer agreement. Yeah, what you just did there, Ken, was you created an exclusive. Okay, so now it was, let's consider from the vantage point of the TV viewer. Here's law firm A standing in front of the owner, standing in front of the bookcases, saying, "Hey, I'm a law firm. Call me." Okay, here's law firm B, you know, standing in a courtroom, not mock up, saying, "I'm a law firm. Call me." And then there's Hardison who comes on and says. By the way, we're no risk. Hire me. You don't like fire me in 30 days. I take all the risk away. You just made it easy and you gave something that the other guys didn't think of. So it's not about lowering your fee. It's not about reducing your net income. It's yeah. give them a reason, man, to choose you. I mean, you're right. There's so much generic advertising out there where it's just ho-hum. You can't wait for the ad to be over. It's boring or it's worse. It's just irritating. Just help people, man. You know, you got a car wreck. You want some free advice? How about talking to a real attorney right now on the phone for free? Or you can wait on hold with the big boy firm. Call me, Smith Legal, right now. Hotlines are open. I got three attorneys ready to take your calls. Let's get into action mode. What are you waiting for right now, Smith Attorney? I mean, you're going to call them. I mean, they took the risk away. They promised service. That's the battle. It's battle, it's battle for who can help me now, not who's yeah. spending the most, you know. So I want to talk about something that you were talking to me before we went on the air, and, and that is something Google is doing or allowing. I can say they're doing it, but they're allowing it, and it could. Usually what happens is over to the legal. You know, we didn't have uh, – you know, now we got legal service ad, which I think they're called something else in the, like, the plumbing and the home, mm -hmm. you know, but it's the, the call. Click, you get pay per call, not per click. And uh, to be honest with you, a lot of our film lawyers have figured it out. They're doing very, very well with it. Very well. I'll stack with it now considerably. Now it's like a moving train at, at you know, your basis. But what you were telling me about this home advisor or, or something about this, what they're doing, I can see this happening. And I, I want to I want to talk about it. We'll see what you think, the way what they're doing and what 
we do the it's a benefit to the legal industry. Yeah, this is going on in the service sector. It's just not legal services, but it's home services right now. I do think there could be some other way this is happening, but in home services industry, so let's talk, you know, your friends, your your clients who own like plumbing businesses, air conditioning businesses, you know, these small business owners around your market, they compete for these leads just like you do. And what has been created is something on the internet called Powell and Sons, B-O-W-E-L-L and Sons. And it'll magically show up. So if you're searching for windows or plumbers or roofing on Google, it'll magically show up and it looks like a local company in your market, including pictures and a map of, in your case, it's a Myrtle Beach, it would show Myrtle Beach, five-star rated, aren't we great? Here's some reviews, you know, here are the services we provide. Looks like a real company, right? And you can enter your data there and, you know, boom, you send it in. Well, surprise, that's actually HomeAdvisor with a website that looks like a business owner that shows up magically very high in organic and also in paid, substantially in paid, because they are taking the data, pulling the data in and selling those leads back to the unsuspecting home service business owners in the market, thinking they're buying leads. They're buying leads that were brought in in a mysterious and frankly kind of strange way, which a a company doesn't exist. And then- That's going on in the home services sector. This is why I think the ecosystem of search has been totally corrupted and hijacked because of Apple data hoarding, not sharing downstream data with Google, now Google allowing this. Uh, You're already seeing what Facebook's trying to figure out where they're going. And all these media are gonna start going vertical, meaning they're gonna try to silo and keep all the business and the money and the data in their ecosystem. So the, the model we were taught 10 years ago was, oh, you look, you buy cost per click, someone looks for an attorney, there's your name, oh, look how easy that was, and you click it. Well, now we're competing with fake companies in certain verticals, and home services is one of them. I think there could be more. I don't know yet, but usually when you see it somewhere, you see it somewhere else. And how do you compete with that? You've got to get to people before they go down those rabbit holes. And that's why I like video, I like broadcast, I like streaming video, because it gets scale. 10, 20, 30,000 people every time it runs. Drive them directly to smithlawfirm.com. Right. Bam, they're on a phone number. They never go down Google. That's not considered Google traffic. Even if you use Google to, to get to that information, that's not considered Google traffic. That's considered direct or other or organic, call it what you want. They're looking for Smith Law. Right. And they found it and they're calling. So that's where the profits and the conversion and the referral rates are better is above the funnel marketing. And I've been passionate about it for a long time, but I really step on the gas when I see them doing things, allowing things like what I told you about. So what advice would you give to therapy lawyers that are, you know, having to deal with them and just now chat? What would it be like two or three things you would tell them to really focus on uh, to try to stay competitive? Okay. Ken, your audio is breaking up a little bit on my end, and maybe it's a mic thing, but I did. I got it. Uh, two or three things they could focus on. Number one is, I, I like to say this to every law firm principal, is, is take ownership that now this is your job, that you can't assign it out to some ad tech giant who promises the moon, and you throw your 50 grand a month, 100 grand a month, 10 grand a month, I don't care what the number is. You throw them your money, and they promise you, don't worry, I'll take care of you. I would not trust in that anymore. I don't like what they're doing. I see some serious cross currents and some problems with it. Uh, I was the guy to go on record back in 21 and say that when, when Apple turns off their data to Google, it's going to be hell to pay. And now it's all hell to pay. <laughs> so the performance yeah. of Google, the cost per clicks way up. Well, you, that's because they're not getting the Apple data and they're not sharing that with the advertiser. That's the part that bugs me. So the responsibility, number one, is on the principal to take control of this, at least be interested. Don't just assign it out like, oh, it's cost of business, just throw it down the street. Look at that and make sure you're getting to people. Second is, Ken, as you highlighted beautifully, give them a, an exclusive reason to choose you and choose you now. I mean, don't be boring, for God's sake. There's enough boring ads out there. And remember, you got 72 hours to wow these people to choose you. And after that, it's kind of game over. And I'm not saying there's no leads other days, but 
the good stuff moves fast. That I've learned in every service vertical, by the way, Ken. The good leads move the fastest. They choose someone, and then it's yours to keep or lose. Right. Someone who's shopping percentages, things like that, they'll probably call 50 attorneys. Okay. You know, I don't think you have to chase that. You'll get a shot at one of those here or there. The last thing is track hard numbers. Uh, you can use pixels. You can use cookies. You can use all these tools, but nothing says success like the old cash register and new clients and they're signing up and then you're getting that beautiful referral wave later on is track you know phone calls appointments conversion to client and referrals if you just track those data points that's honest math you know you don't need a pixel or a survey or anything i don't survey clients when they call in ken i don't say how'd you hear of us i don't, I don't think they know it's bad data in bad data out but man, the cash register, the phone call volume, the appointments and the new clients and referrals, that never lies. And those numbers never lie. We're either getting them or we're not, you know? So those are the three things I'd be focused on. Well, listen, I told you I wanted to, I didn't want to take all your time because I know you're busy. But uh, if somebody wanted to get up with you or contact you or hire you, what, what would be a way they could get up with you? Well, kind of nice thing, Ken, for people watching this through your organization, we're actually sponsored in a lot of cities already by our media sponsors. So it's complimentary to the, the principal of the law firm in many cities, about 70. So there's a good chance we're already in your city and available. And that's a complimentary consult to help you. Uh, so that's kind of a nice thing. You can just hit my, my email, adam at esa.com. And or find me on, you know, like Twitter, Adam on TV or LinkedIn, however you want to reach out. Yeah. I'd love to help. If they're a friend of yours, Ken, they're a friend of mine. I really enjoyed working with you in Raleigh. I, I love watching what you're doing with Pilma. I refer people to Pilma. And for everybody listening and watching, I don't get any money for that, right, Ken? I don't get a no. fee. I just believe in helping people. You gotta, you're got you like the Wikipedia of legal. And I tell people that, go learn, watch what he says, You know, listen to what he's saying. If you want help on marketing, we can talk, but just get your practice squared up. You know, and... Right. Your website's right. loaded with content, so highly recommend people do that if they want to buff up what they're getting just out, out of their investment. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you. All right. Until next time, this is Ken Hardison, dedicated to your success. You have been listening to the Grow Your Law Firm podcast, the podcast that leads lawyers to more growth, profit, and freedom. Go to growyourlawfirm.com to find more ways to market and manage your law firm. Please leave us a rating and review wherever you listen to your podcasts.